I'm Beth Koigi, I'm 28 years old, the CEO of Magic Water. A project manager by profession. So Magic Water is a Kenyan company that uh, was started in, in 2017. Uh, well, I was doing a program at NASA Research Center in California where they brought around people from all over the world to just interact and talk about global issues and how to use technology to solve them. I was looking at how can you uh, democratize a water source so you don't have to depend on tap water or any other water source for you to get basic drinking water and especially where there is a lot of water issues that is arid and semi-arid regions. I previously worked in water filtration so we were distributing, making and distributing water filters that is low cost, low tech water filters and I did that for five years. Kenya had a lot of water issues in terms of water scarcity in 2016 and the sales were really bad. So people were not investing in water filtration. And for me, I started now seeing um, and looking at this issue more of a water scarcity. We are getting water from the atmosphere. Uh, this is making use of the water vapor in air. Uh, and there are very many ways you can get water from air. Uh, you can get dew or harvest dew. Um, you can harvest um, fog and mist. And you can harvest now the humidity itself. When you're harvesting humidity, you can use also two types of methods. That is the condensation. And the other one is using special kind of materials that have very high affinity for water molecules. So basically they absorb water vapor in air and when you heat them up they release that water. So at the moment with this machine we are using the condensation model. You can harvest as much water as possible. Uh, what depends is the capacity of the device. Like for example this device behind me it's 500 liters per day but you can harvest, uh, we have devices that can harvest a thousand uh, and you can custom make them to harvest a hundred thousand. An example of these 500 liters, this is 1.5 million. So the cost is a bit higher at the moment, but the cost will go down as the technology advances. We have only distributed eight, eight of these uh, big devices. Our actual target uh, client and our actual uh, client are very different. Initially we targeted people living in, you know, arid or semi-arid regions or anywhere there is water issues. And then we found out that most people do not have the capability to pay even if they buy per liter. Right now we are working with NGOs who are also working in such regions, uh, so who have water projects. Uh, we also work with corporates who are doing part of their CSR or who want to reduce over dependence on the on the grid water source. You can use electricity. Uh, at the moment we are doing testing here, we are using electricity that is on the grid, uh, but you can use solar, solar energy. You can also use any form of energy. Um, you can use a generator, so depending on what you have. So basically this is um, a very, I would say it have like four components, um, which are identical. So this part, is very identical to this part, it's very identical to this part, and it's very identical to this part. So you will see they look pretty much similar, but uh, in each part we have the condensation coil. So basically this is where the condensation takes place. Uh, we have the fan, so from here you'll see uh, an air inlet where this fan pulls in air, which goes through the condenser coil first, and then the hot air is expelled. So we use the similar um, compressor, refrigerant kind of system, very similar to a fridge. So we have the compressor, and then we have um, the refrigerant gas. The refrigerant gas is mostly used for the condensation heat. So basically we just condense. It's, it's a different kind of air conditioner or a fridge. So basically the water when it's condensed here it falls on this tray then on the other side you'll see a pipe connecting all the four parts together so it goes through an outlet we have on the other side and then the water comes to an external tank. The pollution doesn't affect uh, the quality of water we get. 
simply because we just condense the water vapor. Um, so probably the water, actually the water doesn't come in contact with the, uh, the chemicals in air. So basically we just condense water vapor. So the pollutants may come or the contamination may come from the device itself. The machine can be dusty because we are pulling in air. So there is a lot of dust in air. So most of the dust will come into the machine. It may or may not interact with our water but there is a huge possibility. But at the end of uh, the, the whole system, we add um, filtration system just to make sure that the water is safe for drinking and especially if it, if it is being used for drinking. And also we add mineralization chamber because basically we just get H2O, which is, you know, distilled water. So we add mineralization just to make it now more uh, better for drinking. Like any new technology, getting into the market is not new, convincing people. The first thing we want to do is reduce the overall cost of these devices in such a way that anyone can afford them easily. And also make them, you know, people become more aware that this is actually a water source that people can, you know, consider.